just my body here with my weight behind me, even for this move. Which keeps my hands soft. And I'm checking the wiggle in her hips and then all the way up her side. I've undraped my client's leg and I'm going to apply the cream. I always apply the cream from proximal to distal using the Lomi Lomi stroke. I use this stroke so that I can push in and create a, a soft and yet deep sensation for my client. And you notice I put the cream on the full leg and then I bridge back, holding onto the foot as I go back up to the top of the leg. And I'll do three Lomi Lomi passes here on the quads. And then when I get to the knee, I'm going to bridge, holding one hand here, bridge back up to create a sense of continuity. Then long strokes. And this is a, the same as I did on the back of the body. I'm doing long strokes up the IT band here from the knee to the hip. When I put my hand in place, my hip weight is on my back leg, back hip, and as I move forward, it shifts from the back hip to the front hip. So that the work here comes from my hips, not from my arms. Notice also that I keep my elbows straight as I do this work. I put the arm in place and then push forward going up. Ground, get my weight back here, and then I move from the back leg to the front leg. For the medial pass, I'm going to move to the other side of the table. And then same thing. And you see how I set my arm here and then I push up. And I'm going to finish that area with Lomi Lomi strokes from the hip and I go all the way down to the quad muscles. I put a little, give it a little extra tension to the knee because it's a bone. When I come down here, I'm pushing on the tibia. Now I'm going to do three Lomi Lomi strokes on the calf, each time pushing into the bone. And it's a soft push, but a, a deep push. Then long strokes. Again, I have my weight behind me, and I shift my weight from what, the back foot to the front foot. And then medial, same thing. I'm working perpendicular to the muscle fiber to create a soft touch. Soft but deep. And then I finish with a Lomi Lomi stroke right down the shin bone. Now I'm going to do compressions. The towel over, over her leg so I can better catch the, t the tissue. And I'm going to push her leg away from me. I'm going to push her leg away from me, catch the tissue, and do light, deep, deep pause. Release. Move down. Light, deep, deep pause. Release. Move to the next spot. When I do this, you notice I'm on my like on my toes of the back foot. As I push, I push my back leg foot down, and then my toes come up and pause. You see the rolling of my feet that happens as I move my my weight from the front to the back. Also notice how my arm reaches out of my shoulder socket keeping my shoulders safe. And finally, watch this wrist joint. It starts at, at a more acute angle. As I apply pressure, that angle gets bigger, protecting my wrist. Good. So that's the, the compressions. I'm going to do a long stroke just to soothe. And then do a little bit for her foot. Just to say hello, I'm going to just squeeze her foot a couple times. And then put her in the figure four position. In this position, I'm going to do compressions on the inside here of the shin bone. 
And as always with compressions, I like to use the, the towel. So I'm using reinforced fingers here, and it's light, deep, deep paws. And again, this move comes from my hips. I put my hands in position as I push through my fingers, my weight moves from, from forward to backward, or moves, moves away from the work. Also notice that my head is aligned. It's not dropping to the side, it's not dropping forward. I'm standing up as I push away. One more here, and one more here, and soothe. Okay, now her, her leg is open up so I can get to the adductors, I can get to the inner thigh, and I'm doing the lomi lomi stroke. Notice how I push my weight away from her. And then long strokes. These long strokes, I have my hand perpendicular to the muscle fibers in order to create a soft touch. Soft and yet deep. I'm going to go straight down the middle. This time I'm using reinforced hands. Notice here I straighten my elbows and then push my whole straight arms um, forward. Locking Gently locking my arms like that creates a, a powerful and yet gentle touch. And I'll end with a lomi lomi stroke to soothe my hips. Good. Okay, we're going to do a series of four stretches here. And the first one is called half butterfly stretch. I put one hand on her ASAS here. And I'm just gently pushing on that leg and it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's easy to go. So I'm going to put her leg back up here, cover her foot, and sit on her foot. And I'm sliding my fingers behind the knee. I'm going to catch the tissue as I lean back to pull the tissue inferior, right? The tissue right at the crease of the back of the knee. It's a compression traction move. And I'll drop her leg back open again and retest this stretch and she goes more easily and um, further. And I'll just hold it right there for a moment and release. So that's the first stretch, the half butterfly. The second stretch is, the, uh, I call it stir the soup. I'm to make sure she's draped well. And I'm taking and moving her femur in a circle right in the ball and socket joint. And I can take a small circle, which just works the ball and socket joint. If I take a bigger circle, I can then uh, include the SI joint right there. I'm going nice and slowly. Notice how I'm standing up straight. And I'm pushing this her leg out away from me. And how that's different than if I were to go like this. I get better range of motion by staying stable back here and then straightening my arm, reaching out of my shoulders. Okay, next stretch. This one is knee to shoulder stretch. And the column moves pretty well here. Gonna bounce her around here. With the oil on, on the skin, it's easier to, to move her with that towel. So with this stretch, we need a hinge here, and we also need a hinge right there. Then I'll ask in my mind, is she inviting more stretch? And I follow her invitation, her body's invitation to go further. I'm gonna do it one more time. Bring her up here, hinge at the knee, hinge at the hip. Now is, do I sense her body inviting more stretch? Notice how I'm reaching out of my shoulder sockets here. And look at the difference between that 
versus this. This is pushing, aggressive. This one is listening, sensitive. It's safer for the client and they'll go further. Pause. The pause is where the release happens. Okay, the fourth stretch. This one is a spinal, spinal twist. And I want to take her leg across. My goal here is that her spine, starting at her, her tailbone, one vertebrae at a time, will rotate, starting with the tail. And then the sacrum. Good. And I get her to a certain distance and then she stops. What I'm going to do is put my fingers under her back. They're going to look like this. You're going to go in and just take and pull on the tissue like that, right in the lamina groove beside the, beside the spine. So I reached my hand under her back, and I'm doing those little pushes, pushing into the tissue and stretching it right beside her spine. And then, you see she goes further and smoother. Sometimes I put my hand right here on her pelvic bone to help keep it keep the mo motion stable. Good. And we'll put her leg back. Thank mm -hmm. you.